This video is made possible by Spencer Shipley at Packy Webb Ford in Downers Grove, Illinois. Spencer is dedicated to finding the right car for you in the quickest time possible. Give him a call or contact him with the information up on the screen or found in the description below. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2019 Ford Raptor. Up front is a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6 and down below is a 10 speed automatic transmission. Now I'm super excited to be driving this here Raptor because I've adored these trucks ever since they came out and I haven't driven one until now. This is a second generation Raptor and when it debuted people kind of threw a fit at the fact that it's a V6 and not a V8. So let's see what's what. Let's get back to that 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. I'll put the horsepower and torque up on the screen. However, this truck has been modified slightly and so it's putting out a little bit more than that. The 3.5 liter is an EcoBoost engine that we've seen in the Ford Taurus SHO. And honestly, I've always been a fan. I think they make great power, they're V6s, and they do get okay fuel economy. Well, I'll put up the Raptors fuel economy. That shouldn't really be a gauge of good fuel economy because this is a truck. Let's all try to remember that. But what I'm saying is that I never really had an issue with EcoBoost engines. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. That is not the stock blow off valve, but oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Ready? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're taking this one home, huh? <laughs> Like I said, paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission, which I'm not really noticing here driving through town. It's shifting, it's quiet, it's nice, and I don't really mind it too much. Last but not least, of course, the Raptor is four wheel drive, and we'll talk about how to select that a little bit later on. Now, one thing I do want to touch on with the driving experience is how flippin' large this truck is. As you'll notice on the front grille, there are three orange lights. Those are not for style, as some trucks do put that on for style. This truck is legally large enough to require those three lights. Basically, so at night, you can tell a vehicle in an oncoming lane is larger than the average vehicle. The Raptor surpasses the width requirements in order to require those orange lights. So driving this, you feel huge. You are massive. Around here, parking lots, you're fine. In suburbs, you're fine. But I've heard stories and I can imagine that in the city, you're going to have issues, especially with the factory lift kit, especially with the flared fenders, especially with the crew cab, you're going to have issues fitting places. So when you buy this, just know that you're buying a large, large vehicle. So let's talk about the interior. We have quite a bit to talk about in here. Well, in front of me, I do have physical gauges as well as a digital screen in the center. So on the left is my tachometer with my gear and on the right is my speedometer and then I have a screen that's customizable in the center. I really like this screen. I think it's nice. However, the outside gauges do feel a little bit dated. Now the Raptor is getting an update here soon. So these will go away most likely, but for 2019, they are ever so slightly just a little bit dated, but that's okay. On the steering wheel on the left, I have my selectors for that center screen we just talked about, my cruise control options. The cruise control also is adaptive stop and go cruise control, which is fantastic. And on the right, I have my volume, skip track, voice commands, and interestingly enough, my steering feel button. So I can put the steering feel in normal, sport, or comfort. On the back of the steering wheel, I do have paddle shifters, which is very interesting to see in a pickup truck, but I have paddle shifters nevertheless. To the left of me, I do have mirror lights that I can toggle on and off, as well as my headlight switches, dome light switches, and my pedal adjustments. On the door, I have my power mirrors, 
and power windows. And then down below, I have three different levels of memory seats as well as my lock and unlock. To finish out the door, we also have the B&O speakers. So this is Ford's upgraded sound system that they give to all their top trim vehicles, which is really, really nice to find here in the Raptor. It has great sound quality and the sound system doesn't leave anything on the table in terms of quality. So a couple of thank yous to the people who made this video possible. First of all, we have Cash for Cars. Cash for Cars wants to buy your car, whether it's running, non-running, has a good title, salvage title, whatever it is, you can get a free quote from Cash for Cars and they will pick up your vehicle in less than 24 hours. Our next sponsor is Fixed. Fixed is a Bluetooth OBD2 sensor that plugs directly into your car and pairs to your smartphone. The app allows you to monitor your vehicle's health. It gives you a forecast of issues that might come up and helps you schedule maintenance and find new parts. Our final sponsor is Conplates. Conplates is a suction cup license plate mount for the front of your vehicle if you don't want to drill one into your bumper. All three of our fantastic sponsors can be found in the description below as well as videos explaining them further if you'd like more information, but let's get on with the review. Up above me, I do have dome lights and a very large opening glass roof essentially. It goes back to the rear seats which I absolutely love. Love the look of that. And then at the very top of the center console, I do have six different auxiliary switches. Now from the factory, these switches don't do anything. However, that's what they're meant to do. Nothing until you plug something into them. So if you put a KC light bar on the front, or if you put a winch or something like that, you can wire it directly to these switches. And so it's not going to clutter up your interior with random auxiliary switches you got at AutoZone. You wire them right to these things, they work great, they look great, and that's all you can really ask for. Moving into the center, we have another b &O speaker and a nice little tray up top. Then we have a couple of buttons here for the automatic start stop, a camera button, which can only be toggled when the vehicle is not moving. But I like the fact that you can just look at your camera. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice feature here. My hazard switch, my hill descent control, and my traction control off. Then we have Ford's Sync 3 system. So let's talk about the infotainment. All right, let's talk Ford infotainment here for a little bit. This is the MySync System 3, which means that it has Apple CarPlay. That's what the Ford Pass Connect is for, but it does not have wireless Apple CarPlay. So Ford is just now rolling out here in 2021 wireless Apple CarPlay, but this truck unfortunately does not have it being a 2019. We do have radio settings down here. I do have some climate control here in the screen. I like the fact that I still get physical climate controls. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But we see our Ford guy has made it to the screen. He's made it to the big leagues. Old friend of mine. Anyway, navigation we have. So there you go. It is a little bit laggy on the first hit. However, as you're seeing now, it's pretty smooth once you start using it. In terms of apps, we have added device, find mobile apps, and Sirius XM travel link. Then we just have our settings. Nothing really too crazy here in the center screen. I wish it had something fun because it is a Raptor. I wish it had something a little gimmicky, something fun, um, but that's okay that it doesn't. Backup camera, something really, really nice is the fact that I get this backup camera right here, but I also get a 360 view. So the 360 view is achieved. You'll see there's a car driving by here. Oh, we kind of saw them off to the right there and then passing by. The 360 view is accomplished by there's a bunch of cameras around the truck and then it sort of stitches them together to make a sort of bird's eye view. You can see them parked up against some parking spots. And so navigating, because this truck is so flipping huge, out my side window, I can't even see these parking spots. I'm up so high. I can't see these little concrete dividers. So very, very nice feature to have this in the truck because like I said, I have to lean out the window in order to see these. So the backup camera is fantastic. I would give it three thumbs up if I physically could. Then I have physical media buttons for like volume, my number pad, things like that. To the left of the radio, I do have my four wheel drive settings for two high, four auto, four high and four low, as well as I can lock the rear differential at the push of a button. And then I have my trailer backup help, which is a turn dial knob, as well as I have my trailer brake adjustments down below that. To the right of the radio controls, I do have a 12 volt outlet as well as a wall outlet, 110 volt, 400 watt max outlet. Fantastic. You can charge your phone. You can charge your camera. You can plug in a toaster, whatever you want to do. 
you can do with this outlet, which is fantastic. And then we have the climate controls. Two things to note here. First of all, I do get the very typical Ford man. There's a little guy showing you where the temperature is sent, which is really nice. And then I do have cooled seats as well as heated seats. So I do get heated and ventilated seats here in the Raptor, which I really, really like. This is a higher trim vehicle and I expect to get those nice features. To finish out the center console, we do have two USB ports and a large cubby down in the center. Really love that, really, really nice. And then I have the center console itself. The shifters on the left, I don't mind the shifter. It has this sort of carbon fiber look to the top of it, it's fine. But I can plus minus on the side if I'd like to. This is really helpful for engine braking and trailering and things like that. And then I have my lane keep assist button down at the bottom of the shifter. To the right, I do have cup holders. So we will do a big friggin' bottle test. And of course, this is a Raptor. So the big friggin' bottle fits inside the Raptor. Really, really love that. Really, really nice. And Ford F-Series trucks have always been very good at fitting the big friggin' bottle. The center console is massive as you would assume. However, there's not really a whole lot inside of it. I get coin holders and a tray, but that's really it. If you wanna fit a rotisserie chicken in here, you absolutely can. Not saying that you should, but you can. Now we gotta talk about the seats. The seats are nice and comfortable. They are heated, they are ventilated, they are power, they are memory. They are fantastic. However, one thing that they are missing, I know this is gonna be like the biggest first world problem ever, but they're missing the massage feature. Now, upper trim F-150s, the platinum F-150, gets massaging seats, which I've always been, of course, obviously, very fond of. This Raptor started at $75,000, which is almost equivalent to the Platinum that I drove, and that had the massaging seat. So that's why I bring it up, because an equivalent price, actually a little bit cheaper of a truck from Ford, comes with the massaging seats, but this truck does not. A little bit of a bummer, but I kind of also understand it. You get a lot more goodies here on the Raptor than you do with the Platinum, at least performance-wise. But speaking of seats, this is a crew cab, so we do have back seats, so let's go do a backseat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2019 Ford Raptor. Um, plenty of space back here. My knees uh, still have about probably 10 inches before they hit the seat in front of me, and I'm sitting normally. I can stretch out, really, really thoroughly stretch out and not have any space issues, which coming from me means a lot. Down on the center console, I do have two different heated seat options, a 12 volt outlet up top, two USB chargers to the left, and a wall outlet to the right. All of your charging needs can absolutely be met down here in the center console, and I love that. Speaking of center consoles, I do have this little pull out pop open cup holders, which is fine. This is sort of flimsy and cheap, but what do you expect? And then back here, this third window actually does open. There's a switch up on the center console up above the driver where you can open up that third window, which is really, really nice. The back seats back here, I have not a single complaint in the world. They are absolutely fabulous. Genuinely live back here. I, I have friends who went to college and had smaller dorm rooms than this back seat. Amazing absolutely amazing let's go take a quick look at the bed and then we'll talk about the looks all right so around the back of the raptor first of all these are added kc lights in the rear and then this is an added bumper from starwood performance so those are not factory however let's take a look in the bed and as you can see we do get this nice cover but there's the bed pretty standard nothing too special there i do have the step that will come out and fold down. So with the step down, pull comes up. And then getting into the vehicle is made easy. You use this as a pull and just step right up. To collapse it, you kind of need two hands, but there you go. So very, very nice. Those are standard F-150 features, really. Um, from the bed back, this is pretty much standard F-150 stuff. One thing is that the tailgate is nice and light, can do it with one hand, and I really like that. That's where your backup camera is, and things like that. Now we gotta talk about the looks. Now the looks of this truck have been tweaked ever so slightly. This is not the stock front bumper with the lights in it. This has different wheels on it, things like that. However, I've always thought the Raptor absolutely looked amazing. I think they're aggressive. I think they're chunky. I think they're mean. Ugh, just look at it. Ugh, it's a 
Raptor. I love it. And so now that I've finally driven sort of a halo car for me, let's talk about my final thoughts. What do I think of this here Ford Raptor. Here's the thing, I love this truck. I really, really do. After driving one, I think for my money, this might be the best truck on sale right now. It's hard to imagine a scenario that the Raptor couldn't handle. What makes the Raptor so special is that it gets Fox Shaw from the factory, it has the bigger, beefier, more powerful engine. It gets a factory lift. It's wider than the standard F-150. It's a beast straight from Detroit. You don't have to modify it in order for it to be cool. Now, it is cool when it is modified, but you don't have to. I think the biggest thing for me with this truck is that this is not one of your don't meet your hero scenarios. I met my hero. I met my truck hero. This has been my favorite truck to look at for years and years and years, ever since they released the first one in 2010. I've always been a fan of this truck, but now driving it, finally experiencing it, I know I made the right choice. I know there was a solid reason why this was my favorite truck. And every single point that I made is just getting reinforced. When the only downside of a pickup truck is the fact that it doesn't have massaging seats, <laughs> I think I think the pickup truck is doing okay. That and the size, I would say the size is a downside, but it, it kind of comes with the territory. You don't buy a 12 inch sub and then wonder why your stomach hurts later. The proof is in the pudding, or the sub, I guess, in this sense. This thing is good, man. This thing is so good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Spencer Shipley for letting me take out this here Raptor. Packy Webb Ford is absolutely awesome. Spencer is awesome. He will find the right vehicle for you. I know the vehicle market right now is a little insane, and Spencer will help you figure it all out. He will help you make sense of the world when it comes to buying a used car. He makes it super easy, and I cannot recommend him enough. We've been working together for quite some time, and he's always been fantastic, so please go check him out. And helping Spencer is helping me, and I appreciate that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.